Welcome everyone. Today we're going to see how to put a flashlight on our gun, to put a laser on our gun, and make sure that the laser does not go through any object like you can see on, see on the screen. I'm going to show you how to attach uh, a side here, a flashlight here, which is not a flashlight, but doesn't really matter. So how to attach that for a flashlight, the laser itself here, and maybe even the suppressor. And so we're gonna zipper. I'm gonna split the video in a couple of uh, part. So I'm gonna do a part one, which I'm gonna cover now the flashlight and how to attach and create socket to do that, and creating the blueprint for the flashlight. And the other one, I'm gonna show you how to set up the laser. The laser just take a little while. It's not too complicated, but it's take a little while to do. Uh, so we're gonna start with the flashlight. And if you're not here for the flashlight, well, you can jump right to the uh, the laser. However, you're going to need a few things that I'm going to do here. Uh, so it's work on the other one. So let's uh, close this project and start a new project and uh, to show exactly what I did. So here I'm in my new project. Um, so I just take the third, I just took the third person uh, template. And I took the floor here and just put the floor up here so it's a little bit darker here so we can see the flashlight and uh, the laser. So the first thing that we have to do here, uh, I created uh, a folder just to keep that organized with the flashlight and the laser sight. Uh, so now I'm going to go to the animation starter pack. And I'm just going to go uh, search for the uh, idol. So I'm going to search for idol. I'm going to select uh, the one here, this one here, the idle rifle iron sight. I'm going to retarget that to our UE5 mannequin. So when you right click on it, you can do retarget and you can click here and UE5 and you just click retarget. So it's going to create your animation for the new character. So when you have that done, uh, it's really easy. So we're going to go to a third person character, to the blueprint, we're going to go right in it. I'm going to click on mesh here and just make sure we're in the viewport. And I'm going to select the use animation asset and I'm going to search for the idol um, iron sight here. So we need this one here that we just created. So we're good with that. After that, uh, when that is done, we're going to create here on the top. A static, not a static mesh, but a skeleton mesh here. I'm gonna call that a weapon. I'm gonna make sure that it's under mesh. On the weapon here, I'm gonna add a static mesh. I'm gonna call that flashlight. Perfect. So we're all good with that. So I'm just gonna compile and save for now. So now I'm gonna click on mesh and I'm gonna browse the skeleton mesh here. It's gonna bring me here. I'm going to jump in the skeleton mesh of that character. I'm going to search for N and I'm going to select the right N. And I'm just going to add a socket. Rename that socket a weapon. So I'm going to call that weapon underscore socket, like so. When you click on it, you can add a preview asset. So I'm going to search for the SK. I'm going to use the SKAR4. Perfect. Uh, you probably lost here, so we're just going to search back our socket. It's right here. And we're going to move that weapon to the hand of our character. But just to get a better uh, angle, a better pose, we're going to preview the animation. And we're going to click uh, search for idle and take the idle iron sight. There we go. Perfect. So obviously it's not pointing in good direction. So we're going to click on the socket and move the weapon. So I'm going to stop the animation just by dragging uh, the red little thing here. I'm going to turn that up. And I'm going to move that in the hand of the character. Obviously that animation is not, it's not for this character. So it's not like super great. But you know, it it's will do the trick for now. There we go. So it's not too, too bad. Obviously, you can play with that and set up that the way that you want. Uh, for me, it's going to be fine here. I just want to show you how to put a flashlight on that. So the detail here, it's not too important. Um, 
so now we're gonna go to the uh, that weapon so we're gonna go to the FPS weapon bundle weapon meshes AR4 and we're gonna select the uh, skeleton bone for the AR4 just be sure there is like two skeleton make sure you take the one for the SKAR4 go right in that and here we're gonna create our sockets so we can put you know uh, the flashlight the suppressor um, the sight here and uh, all the other things that you guys want to put on so you put gun on the gun here you click uh, on right click on it and add a socket I'm gonna rename that socket um, just to make sure I'm selected rename the socket I'm gonna call that flashlight underscore socket I'm gonna create again another socket I'm gonna call this one make sure I'm selected once again I'm gonna call that suppressor underscore socket I'm gonna select that once again create another socket and I'm gonna rename that Site, whoops, site underscore socket, like so, perfect. So now I'm gonna start with a flashlight. The the pack that we downloaded does not have a flashlight, but we're just gonna use the grip for it. So we're gonna do preview and search for grip. I'm gonna take the grip here, and we're just gonna move the grip here in front. I'm gonna put back the snapping so it's a little bit easier to move that grip so I'm gonna rotate that click here and rotate that like this and I'm just gonna attach that right here or wherever you want I'm gonna go for the suppressor we do have a suppressor so that's perfect so we're gonna search for the suppressor it's right here so we're gonna move the suppressor right in front of the weapon There you go. If you click space, it's just swapping a little bit easier. So you put whatever you want. I want kind of more of a shorter gun. Uh, so I'll put it around here. It's look more like a C8 than anything else like this. Um, after that, I'm going to click on the site socket here. The same thing again, add preview. I'm going to search for the site. There we go, right here. Going to bring that up. I'm going to rotate that. There we go, it's facing front here. I'm gonna go a little bit closer to make that a little bit nicer. And I'm gonna move it right in front, like this. That's pretty good for me now. So as you can see now, we just added a few things on our weapon. So it's look way nicer that way. Uh, so we're done here. We're just gonna save that and go back to our third person character. So back in the third person character, we're gonna click on the weapon. And on the weapon here, we're going to select the SKAR4. And now it's right here. So we have to put that in the hand of our character. So we're going to click here on the parent socket when we have weapon selected. And we're going to search for weapon socket. And it's going to go right in the hand of our character. Uh, after that, we're going to click on flashlight. And we're going to search for the grip. And we're going to attach that to the socket we created. So the flashlight socket. So as you can see now, it's going right attached to our gun. So on the weapon, we need to create two more um, static mesh. So we're going to create two static mesh. This one I'm going to call that suppressor. And we'll create another static mesh. That makes sure that I have weapon selected. And the other static mesh, I'm just going to call that sight. There we go, like so. So on the suppressor here, we're going to go in the static mesh, search for suppressor. There we go. I'm going to attach that to the suppressor socket that we did. And same thing for the site here. So we're going to search for site. And we're going to search for the static mesh site. Boom. So now we have all our accessories on the weapon. So now we're going to go and create the blueprint for the flashlight so we can uh, have lights in front of our weapon. So how we do that? Well, we're going to go back up here and we're going to do the flashlight here and we're going to create a blueprint. We're going to do an actor blueprint. I'm going to call that 
bp underscore flashlight. I'm gonna go open that, and here I'm gonna add a static mesh, and I'm gonna call that static mesh uh, flashlight, flashlight, and under this I'm gonna search for light, and I'm gonna add the spotlight. So the spotlight here, I'm gonna change the inner cone for 10, and I'm gonna change the outer cone for 10. And in the intensity, I'll put 50,000. So 50,000 right there. So compile and save. So after that, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to the um, event graph here. I'm gonna start the logic to have our flashlight. So on even begin play, we're gonna cast to our third person character like this and from the object we're gonna get player character and we're gonna promote this blue pin to ref third person character like those and here under we're gonna search for custom even and we're gonna call that flashlight so I do a custom event here. You can do everything from even being on play. However, uh, if, if you have a lot to put, it's just getting overcrowded, and uh, I don't really like that. From here, we're just gonna search for that function that we just created. There we go. So now it's start, cast the third person character, do a reference, and it's gonna go to our flashlight, which is right there. So from that, we're gonna drag, and we're gonna attach a component, two components, so this one here, so the flashlight. And we're gonna take our reference for a third person character, drag from that, search for weapon, go all the way down and get the weapon. And we're gonna plug this to the print socket. So now we have to put the name of the socket. So remember we put flashlight socket, so we're gonna put flashlight underscore socket. It's case case sensitive, so you need to make sure you write exactly what uh, you put earlier. And I'm gonna change the location rule to snap to target rotation, uh, the location rule and the rotation snap to target and the scale snap to target. So we're gonna save, go back to the viewport here. So now we're in the viewport uh, of that blueprint. So all the logic on the event graph is done. We just have to set up the viewport. So on the SM here, on the uh, static mesh for the flashlight, we're gonna search for grip, which is right there. I'm gonna rotate that grip that it's facing front like this. And I'm gonna take the spotlight and I'm gonna move the spotlight in front. I'm gonna remove the snap here, this one. So we can bring it right in front. We're gonna do the rotation. I'm going to put that back on this one. I mean, I'm going to move that right in front here like this. Perfect. So we've compiled our flashlight is pointing in a good direction and our logic here, it's all done. So compile, save. So now if we go back here, I mean on third person map, you will probably see that nothing is working. The only reason why nothing is working, it's because the blueprint is not in play, right? So yes, we we told the game, hey, we want that blueprint attached to our character, but the character, I mean, the, the, the game doesn't know where the blueprint is, right? So we're gonna just drag the blueprint here. Now you see this, but as soon as we're gonna start, the blueprint is gonna disappear and it's gonna go and attach itself to our character. So if we do play here, as you can see, the blueprint is not there anymore, but we have a flashlight attached to our character. So obviously there is no animation because we did not set up that. Uh, so it's not the point of that tutorial. So we have the flashlight here. It's exactly what we want. So that's perfect. Everything is working. You can also go there and if, if you want to, you can, you know, change the color of the light. I'm going to put a red just for fun. Compile. And you see now, now it's red, right? So you put the color that you want, the intensity that you want, 
and that's pretty much that so far so it's gonna conclude that uh, this video i'll see you on the other one for setuping uh, the laser so have a great day and see you on the next one see ya